Another type of equation we may be interested in solving is an equation that has two absolute values in the problem. And just like with any other absolute value equation, with two absolute values, we need two equations. The difference is now we can't just say the answer is positive 8, negative 8. Now there's a whole expression on each side of the equation. So as we set up our equations, though, we'll set them up real similar. We'll take the stuff inside the absolute value is equal to the positive of the right side, or the stuff inside the absolute value is equal to the negative of the right side, whatever that stuff is. Let's take a look at an example where maybe that makes a little more sense. Here we have two absolute values, the 2x minus 6 and the 4x plus 8. What we're going to do is say that the right side could be positive or negative. What we're really saying is they either have matching signs or opposite signs, but the number itself, the distance from 0, is the same. So let's set it up with the 2x minus 6 is equal to the positive version of 4x plus 8. or the 2x minus 6 is equal to the negative version of 4x plus 8. And what we see this does, because of the parentheses, those are important, we need to distribute that parentheses through to get our equations going. So for the first problem, distributing a positive 1 doesn't make much difference. 2x minus 6 equals positive 4x and positive 8. And then we can keep solving from there, moving the variable to one side by subtracting 2x from both. Negative 6 equals 2x plus 8. Subtract 8 from both sides. Negative 14 equals 2x. Divide by 2. All of this should be very familiar to us by this point. Gives us negative 7 for our first solution. Solving the second equation then, Distributing that negative, that means we're distributing a negative 1, gives us 2x minus 6 equals negative 1 times 4 is negative 4x, and negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Get the variable on one side now by adding 4x to both. Gives us 6x minus 6 equals negative 8. Now it's a two-step equation where we'll add 6 to both sides. 6x equals negative 2. And finally, dividing both sides by 6 gives us our second solution for x, the reduced fraction, negative 1 third. So we're still considering the positive and negative option. It's just instead of positive and negative number, it's positive and negative expression in parentheses. Let's look at another example. Here we have 3x minus 5 is equal to the absolute value of 7x minus 2. Again, those absolute values could have the same sign or opposite signs, so we'll put a plus or minus in front of the second part of the equation. So the first equation, 3x minus 5, is equal to the positive expression, 7x minus 2, or the 3x minus 5 could be equal to the negative expression, 7x minus 2. And again, the parentheses, are very, very important because the first step is going to be to distribute through that parentheses. So we have 3x minus 5 equals distributing positive 1, doesn't really change much, 7x minus 2. We'll get the variable on one side by subtracting 3x from both sides. This gives us negative 5 equals 4x minus 2. Then we add 2 to both sides, negative 3 equals 4x, and finally dividing by 4, giving us x is equal to the fraction negative 3 fourths, our first solution for the variable. To get our second solution of what number x could represent, we need to distribute that negative through the parentheses. Remember, that's a negative 1. So we have 3x minus 5 equals negative 7x plus 2. Negative times a negative is a positive. Be careful with the signs. 
Get the variable on one side by adding 7x to both sides. We get 10x minus 5 equals 2. Add 5 to both sides, giving us 10x equals 7. And finally, we'll divide both sides by 10 to get our final answer, x is equal to 7 tenths. Solving inequalities when we have two any, I'm sorry, solving equations where we have two absolute values in the equation, we simply use a positive and negative for the expression on the right. Be sure you use parentheses as you distribute on the next step.